Can you talk a little bit more about the energy and the attitude that we bring to the workplace and how that impacts our, our day to day in the office? Most people pay more attention to the weather on a daily basis than we do our own energy and attitude. As a New Yorker, Queens, did you look at the weather report today, see if it's gonna rain or snow? Yeah. You dressed appropriately, right? Yeah. You took a couple of minutes to understand that this is the environment in which you are going to live, and so you adapted to make sure that you're comfortable in that environment. Now, if you put that same minute or two minutes, three minutes, to your energy and attitude before an important meeting, before a collaboration, a phone call as we mentioned, a, a brainstorming session, what effect do you have on the people around you? You know, it's contagious. We feed off of each other's energy. Surely you've been in a meeting that everyone's having a good time, it's relaxed, and the problem is, is tough. You're supposed to solve this problem. It's heavy, you feel it, and at the same time, it's loose, and, and everyone's just having a good time solving this problem. Somebody comes in and all the energy's out of the room. You're like, oh my gosh, why are you always so negative? Have you ever been in a meeting that it's hard? You know, it's, you feel the weight of it, and everybody feels it. And then all of a sudden, somebody comes in the room, and it's lighter. And you feel that possibility and potential towards success. You can make the choice to be either one of those two people. You can make the choice to go in and suck all the energy out with a bad attitude, bad energy. You can take a few minutes before the meeting, adjust it. Adjust your physicality, the way that athletes do before a game. Do you think athletes before a big game are you know, shooting out 20 emails and they run out on the court like, I'm ready to play. No, they're warming up. They study their, their, their opponents, they know their team, they're listening to their coach, they're drawing up plays. They're getting mentally focused and ready to play, physically and mentally ready, game state. And that's exactly what I'm suggesting going into a meeting. Instead of shooting out 20 emails and trying to get that last thing done right before this meeting, take a few minutes, center yourself. Get physically and mentally in the place you need to be to affect the people in the way that you want to. And then when you go in that meeting, hold yourself accountable. I'm gonna smile, I'm gonna be positive, I'm gonna yes and, I'm trying not to yes but people, I'm gonna try not to shoot out anybody else's ideas. In fact, I'm gonna temper the other people who do that. So that we make sure we get 100% engagement, 100% participation from 100% of the people inside that room. Which is an imperative because if you're in a meeting that's supposed to be 100% participation and you're not participating, what value do you bring to that meeting? And that might mean that you have to change your mental state and your physical state before you go in the meeting so that you don't become helpless in these meetings and you don't just cash out.